This era is dominated by mobile phones. In fact, since the last few years, mobile applications have taken over the world and consumer habits have changed. Now, smartphones and mobile apps have become a very important part of everyday life. Many companies too have adapted and moved towards mobile apps. And that's the reason behind that is the number and the increase in number of smartphones and tablets across the globe. Currently, research shows that 90% of the time spent on mobile devices is spent on apps, whereas 10% is spent on mobile browsers. But we have to keep in mind that great opportunities come with great challenges. The most challenging part of a mobile app is its security and vulnerability. Let's take a look at five very important ways that you can use in order to keep your app secure. We'll go ahead and discuss each of them one by one and see how they could help. First on the list is data storage. So most inexperienced developers, as well as some experienced developers, don't understand the value of data storage. Data storage should accommodate all these validations, such as no sensitive data should be written to the application log. No sensitive data should be shared with third parties unless it's a necessary part of architecture. The keyboard cache should be disabled. No sensitive data should be exposed through the IPC mechanism. Sensitive data like password and PIN should not be exposed during user interaction. No sensitive data should be included in the backup generated by mobile operating system. And the user credential should be stored in the app through a keychain, key store, or an SQL shipper. Next on the list is data in air. So SSL pinning plays a major role in building highly secure mobile apps. This is something that users would be able to use even in insecure wireless networks, which is something we encounter every day while using our mobile devices. So once the ATS is, is enabled, the second step to in increase security is in enabling SSL pinning. We should add the security element into the application to secure the mobile app. It uses certificate pinning to help prevent man in the middle attacks. When communicating over public networks, it is actually essential to make sure that you have these checks in place so that your app and your phone is always secure. Next on the list is OAuth. So user authentication and authorization are the new normal for all apps, be it B2B, B2C. It's a must have feature for mobile app. And that's the only way that you could give the app owner power. And that's actually something that makes them feel secure. Next, we've got the integrity check. So rooted devices are the most vulnerable to attacks. The execution on an app on a rooted device should be avoided at all time. Mobile app should detect jailbroken phones by using libraries such as JailMonkey. But it's also important to understand that if you're targeting a larger audience and mainly B2C, you may lose business since these days most app mobile phones are rooted. So when you're making a decision, be wise to choose and make the right decision. And last but not the least is secure app logic. Now this is my favorite because the best part is that many developers don't even know about the fact that the build you create can be tampered with and debugged by reverse engineering of APK and IPA files. To avoid this, you can use a library such as JSCambler. This provides a series of layers that protects JavaScript and facilitates a self-defending layer that provides anti-debugging and anti-tampering capabilities. To sum it up, a basic mobile application has given rise to million dollar companies, companies such as Uber, Instagram, Snapchat, and many more. They all owe their existence to mobile apps. For the same reason, you need to make sure that your million dollar idea is secure. Now, Royal Cyber has maintained its years of experience by developing secure apps for both customers and businesses. Connect with us today to get yourself a bulletproof app. You could email us at info at royalcyber.com. You could contact us on the number below, or you could even come on the website and chat with us. Mm -hmm.